All right, <clears throat> child of one. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash. No more honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and his sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Pushing to get up out of here, shallow one to the whole collective of believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai. And what I want to get into, all right, um, today is dealing with, you know, keep growing, you know, in righteousness and not becoming complacent, you know, because as we entered into, you know, this wisdom, you know, as the scriptures say, all right, matter of fact, let me start there, you know, and expound on it. I think that's in the book of Sirach, chapter 3. All right. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 3. All right. I started at 18. This Sirach chapter 3, verse 18. It said, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. You know, so as we elevate in this understanding, you know, as we toiling in his word, laboring in his word, and you know, the Lord brings, you know, his men on the level. You know, one thing about it, you know, we can't, you know, become proud. You know, we can't come too full of ourselves, man. You know, one thing we have to pray for is humility as we increase in faith, as we increase in understanding, you know, as we're constantly gaining knowledge and wisdom, and, you know, the Lord is dealing, we have to pray for their humility to keep us grounded. You know, that's why the scripture said, the greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself, you know, because there's a different le level of humility as we increase in our levels of understanding, you know, and wisdom. Verse 19, it says, many are in high places and over now, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. You see, the Lord is dealing with humility, man. He's dealing with the meek. You know, he's not dealing, you know, with uh, the gimmicks and, you know, men that, that, that boast themselves and, you know, they exalt themselves and they promote themselves in the ministry. The Lord not dealing with that, man. Those men fall in front of the congregation. Okay? As, as we witness time and time again. Okay? We have to have a mindset that, you know, we got we got much work to do. You know, we can't have a mindset as if we've arrived, you know, and we don't reach, you know, the pinnacle. And now, you know, it, it, it's just a uh, a mindset of um of, of pretty much, you know, just boasting, you know, in the ability that the Lord gave us, man, and the wisdom that the Lord gave us. Nah, man, we've never arrived until we make it on the chariots, man. Okay, and we have to keep that mindset. Verse 20 said, for the power of the Lord is great. And he is honored in the lowly. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Stand within thy lane. You know, we can't, you know, it's certain. Every, every brother got their gifts. You know, and the thing is to recognize their gift and toil and labor within their gift, man. You know, each brother got their own lane. Some brothers more similar to others. Some brothers, you know, on similar levels to, you know, one another. But at the end of the day, each brother has their own lane. And the Lord, all right, has each brother in their own lane for a purpose, man. You know, and we can't try to mimic a brother to the point to where, you know, uh, we're not being effective in the truth. You know, you're trying to mimic a brother that is not meant for you to do what that brother do. There's certain things that we can pull from one another and add to who we are. You know, we can add it, you know, to our repertoire. Re repertoire in this truth, okay, we can pull from different brothers, all right, but there's certain things that that, that that are above us, man, and even just on the on the general level, you know, that's why we stay within the confines of what the apostles and elders teach, you know, we don't try to go and get, you know, into the deep, uh, mythical, you know, secret wisdom, okay, we stay within the confines of what's already, you know, being taught, you know, Verse um, uh, 
verse 23, and it says, oh, verse 22 says, but what is commanded thee think thereupon with reverence, okay? Hey, with, with, and we think of, upon these things with a reverence, you know, with a certain level of respect, you know, thankful that the Lord, you know, has dealt with us, man. <laughs> you know, we, we, we got to be thankful just to be here, man. Really be thankful just to be here, man. To be a part of this, man. To be part of this opportunity, man. You know? And it says, For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes and the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are shown unto thee than men understand. So we have a wisdom that the most of the worst, can, the most, the majority of the earth can't even comprehend. Okay, and the Lord has just laid it out to us as a buffet, <laughs> you know, and when we think with their perspective, you know, we think we, we, we be more appreciative, okay, instead of trying to continue to, you know, go into these deep things just so we can stand out and look like gurus on the internet, man, nah, man, <laughs> you know, just the fact that we hear and we understand, man, okay, the, the scriptures speak about he that has a little understanding. All right, I believe that's um, it's a rock nineteen. You know, yep, this is rock nineteen and twenty four. It says he that has small understanding and fear the most high is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses the law of the most high. Cause you got a lot of jakes with with all this wisdom with fringes on, but they be uh, teach false prophecy. That's a lie. That's a sin. Okay, there's bearing false witness on the on the Bible when you teach false prophecy, man. <laughs> okay. So here it is, you have a brother that doesn't have, you know, all this, you know, wisdom and you know can retain all this wisdom and you know, orate it in an elegant way, you know, but he's teaching what he knows and truth and sincerity, it's it's gonna be better with him. Because he's doing it from a, a sincere place and a meek spirit, man. That's what the Lord is dealing with. Okay? There's going to be men on the chairs that don't get hardly no views, man. Maybe one or two. But they're going to be on those chariots, man. Crown. Okay? So we can never stop growing in righteousness, man. We can never feel like we've arrived, man. You know? Because the Lord is dealing. Alright? Because the Lord can stop dealing instantly. All right, this is the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 9. It says that he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised other. Yeah, so you can feel, you know, and, and, and that's a demon, you know, that, that tempts all of us, man. You know, you get the feeling like you're on some type of level and, you know, ain't nobody moving like you moving, man, and you'll get the despising and being being critical of brothers like nah man, that's an off spirit. <laughs> okay, that's an off spirit to be in. Okay, the reason we're here because the Lord got us here, man, and we doing what the Lord programmed us to do in the spirit, man. Okay, everything about us, the Lord gave that to us as a gift, man. Every every everything that makes us an asset to the body, the Lord gave us those things as a gift, man. Okay, we've conjured up nothing of ourselves, man. Okay? <laughs> so you read this uh, in, in, in LT, Luke 18 and 9. It says, Then Yahweh Shah told his story to some who had great confusion in their own righteousness and scorned everyone else, man. Okay, well, great confidence, like it. It says, Then Yahweh Shah told this story to some who had great confidence in their own righteousness all right, and scorn everyone else, okay, and, you know, the Lord, and this one, it's a gift and a curse, you know, the Lord bless you with certain abilities and revelations, and, you know, you're able to retain information, that can be a gift and a curse, man, you know, because you can begin to be overconfident in your own ability, man, you know, now understanding that the Lord gave you those gifts, all right, because he, he's, he expects more from you, that's why you're not doing more than the next man because uh, we're not doing more than the next man because we're something great. It's the Lord gave us that ability because he expects more from us, man. Okay? If you, if you, let's say if you, if you design cars, 
Okay, you engineer cars. If you make a car, all right, with a, a, a V6 engine, okay, and then you make another car with a V12 engine, well, you're going to expect more performance out of your car with that V12 engine. Okay, you made the V6 engine for a purpose, you know, for a gas saver around the city car. All right. And you made the V12, you know, for more high performance and, you know, uh, you know, the weekend, you know, <laughs> flex on the weekend. Okay. But both of them serve a purpose. So, you, you of course, you're going to expect a different performance. All right. Out of those two different cars, but they both are serving the purpose of the creator, man. Okay. So it's the Lord that put certain spirits in particular men, okay? Some spirits will be more potent than others, all right? But the Lord expects more from those spirits that he gave more to, okay? So it's not a thing of, 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 of trusting, you know, in our own righteousness, man, okay? Because we all, all right, if we, if we had to, if you had to pull the law out, okay? And you pull up our highlight reel, okay, we out of there. Okay, we wouldn't even make it, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> we, we wouldn't even make it a, a tenth of the way, okay, through the highlight reel, we'd be out of there, all right, and it says, um, reading it again, because scripture say to who much is given, much is required, man, you know, Luke 18 and 10, it says, two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus, with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as the publican. I fast twice a week in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up his, uh, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, The most I be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. So you had, all right, a um, Pharisee, which was brought up in the law, so he would know the history, you know, he would know the law, he would know, you know, the traditions, the customs, the temple, the, the you know, the, the working of the temple, okay, fasting, he was boasting in these things, man, okay, but you had a publican. One that wasn't, you know, brought up in the law and understood the the, the, um, the history and the customs. Okay? And he understood that, look, he need mercy, man. Because both of them are sinner, the Pharisee, even though he was doing all these things, if you if you if you if <laughs> if you bring out the law, no one can hold up against that law, man. That's why, you know, there's no way anyone can be boasting in the law. The law is a great thing, you know, and we all right, rehearse the law. Okay, in sincerity, all right. But to boast in that law, nah, man. You your your mindset that means that that you don't get the 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 the, the big picture of what Yahweh Shai is doing. Okay, he's dealing with someone who has a mindset to know that they need mercy, man. Okay, because when you go here to Psalms thirty two, <laughs> this is what this thing is going to be about. Okay. Psalms 32 and 1, it says, Blessed is he who transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered, man. Okay? Who, who, who transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. Those who sins, I mean, uh, 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 those who understand that they need forgiveness and the sins covered. Not to boast in the laws that we can keep. Okay? We need mercy from the ones that we can't. Okay, the the ones that we feel that in this captivity, man. Okay, we rehearse the ones we can to the best of our ability, and we get better at those things. Okay, but we don't boast in it because we understand at the end of the day we still need mercy. We still have to have hope in the Savior, man, and His mercy. Verse two: Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Okay. And they're going to know God, that means, hey, an honest man. Okay, because you got these guys boasting the law, but they full of trickery and gimmicks. Grifting. Okay. Yeah, they can go in and, and, and 
pull out all these precepts and go into the history and these quotes and you know they know all these debate terms and the debate format okay and you look at it like this shit is amazing you know but then they got all these gimmicks going man okay all this grifting and and, 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 and you know schemes <laughs> you know the Lord not dealing with that man all right and we have to you know, have a, 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 a mindset that we need mercy, man. And we need, you know, understanding, okay? That we need to continue to grow in understanding, man, of what's pleasing to our power, all right? So we want to have a mindset, you know, just to keep growing in righteousness, man, you know? And don't never be content or be complacent, no matter, you know, how much we've done in the past, man. It's about what's next, man. All right, what's the next level? What's what what what's, what the record what the Lord requires of us next, man? <laughs> you know. So, Lord, will you, brothers? All right, and you sisters, edify to next time. I say, shalom. Point your shalom. Bob, wild details. So, shalom.